Thank you for watching my showcase video of the Prussian Blue Reverb by One Control. Thank you to the One Control team for sending this out to me, and I'm just going to talk a little bit about what I like about this. So, the first thing I like is that it's compact. It's a mini pedal, like all mini pedals, you know, they're really nice to have. You can slide them in on your board in between some bigger pedals. Um, they're not taking up, you know, too much real estate in regards if you if you want to add a second reverb, if you want to add like a really huge Strymon or a really big overdrive. You know, these pedals creep in, they fit in, and they're really useful to have. But I think the main thing that I like about this pedal is that it's not too much. And when I say that, I'm not saying that there are limitations with this, I'm saying that it is really easy to use. There's three parameters in here. Tone, level, decay, and your engager, right? And I think, especially with reverb pedals, with delay pedals, with any kind of effects that can be really taken and expanded with different algorithms and stuff like that, it's really easy for these pedals to become complicated. And for people that haven't had a lot of experience with actual physical, you know, outboard gear away from VSTs and away from plugins, you know, it can get a little much and a little overbearing. I think this pedal does a really good job of delivering a big punch in a small package. And I think if I had to recommend this for anyone, I'd recommend this to people who are just starting out with reverb pedals, because not because the quality of tone isn't any good, um, it's great. I managed to get quite a lot of range um, keeping within the two tones that I decided to use in my track um, and a little bit, you know, when it came to reamping as well. But I think it's really, really a good pedal for beginners and people who are exploring reverb, reverb for the first time because you won't get too lost in, in onboard algorithms. You won't get too lost on six, seven different um, knobs to play with. You know, you've got three very simple, very basic principles to understand, to play with. And you can get quite a large range of tone from this thing. Like it really does pack a lot of punch. So I think if I was to recommend it to anyone, I'd say anyone who's interested in playing around with reverb, anyone who hasn't had pedals before, this is a really high quality piece of gear that is not too complicated to understand. It can fit in on your board really compactly, really well, and overall it's just a great piece of gear. Like I'm looking forward to the I'm looking forward to being able to slide this in to a really compact board and I have a couple of them. And this taking up, you know, not very much room, but really being able to deliver some quality tones. So once again, thank you for watching my video on this. And I think you'll really enjoy it if you manage to get your hands on one of these.